All right, so last night we got about 20, 22 inches, something like that over here. This snow was so wet at the beginning that you can see that there's just like a solid two to three inches of like pure ice. This stuff is so hard, you just slip right across it, no problem. You can't get any traction with that at all. Plow truck wasn't really doing much at all. It was clearing this stuff off the top that was a little bit fluffier, but this stuff here, if I don't get underneath of it and get this driveway exposed so the sun can get to it, then it's gonna stay like this and get even worse because it's gonna melt right now a little bit on the top and then tonight it'll freeze and be even worse. It'll be just solid ice. We can't seem to get traction with any machine on this. I think the only thing that might be somewhat helpful is some chains. The thing that's really working is this bucket just getting underneath of it at a slight angle, pulling this stuff up. You can see I got all this with that. My brother's over there trying with the loader. He's doing some stuff, but it's it's just so hard to get traction in this stuff. Like I said, the snow plow doesn't really do anything. I took that out, it was done in about 15 minutes. Now I'll be here for a couple hours doing this.
guys, I got this 360 camera. I've had it for a little while. I've been experimenting a little bit with it. I found, finally found a program that'll work with it pretty good, pretty easily and quickly. So I know a lot of you are probably wondering what the heck is going on, but this is really the future right here. Because see, I can stand here right here and not move anything. And here we go, look at the camera moving around. I can look anywhere as I want right now. And it's called reframing. Or I can just put it on 360 mode and you guys can view a virtual reality video. The problem with that is that you can't have a virtual reality video with a regular video, a regular flat video on YouTube. So I'm gonna start doing some 360 videos and I'll put a link in the description for it. But on this video, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do that on some future projects. But anyways, I wanna just show you guys what's going on with this ice, because there's still a lot on this driveway. But I'm just not gonna keep tearing up the machine trying to get it up. Hopefully the sun will come out today and just having a little bit of this exposed will help melt it. This stuff that's right here is just like solid ice. Like you can't even chip it with your foot. Like it, it would take like a pry bar just to get this stuff up. It's just seriously dense. It's unfortunate because I really wasn't ready. I got a lot of my firewood buried. Got a lot of snow. So last night when I was done taking this ice up, I went and I bought a camper. Um, I just got this thing basically as a temporary thing to, to stay in while I'm up north building that little cabin. We just decided it got too cold to, to stay in tents and the cabin that's already there isn't really in good condition right now until we fix it. So we'll be using this to fix that. So anyways, this is a 2004 uh, 20 foot trailer. The back pops out, I think another four or five feet. It's even got some newer appliances and stuff. Uh, it's got heat and AC. 